Welcome back to Monetized History. My name is Daniel, and today we're talking about Mexican railroads. Like all Mexican coins, the obverse of the 1950 five pesos is dominated by the coat of arms. To the left is the silver purity of the coin, and to the right is the coin's weight. Below is the coin's denomination, the Mexico City mint mark, and the year it was struck. The legend, Estados Unidos Mexicanos, translates as United Mexican States. The reverse of the coin features a steam train traveling along a tropical Mexican coast. In the background are palm trees, cornfields, trees, and the ocean. A rayed sun with the date inscribed rises on the horizon, evocative of new beginnings. The legend, Inauguración de Ferrocarril de Sureste, translates as Inauguration of the Southeastern Railroad. The Southeastern Railroad was the final link in a chain connecting Ciudad Juarez on the northern border with Progreso on the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. Work began in 1935 and was completed in 1950. The rail line is still used today because it remains a vital link in Mexico's rail network. The coin was designed by engraver Manuel Luna Negrete, who also designed coins featuring Teotihuacan, Venustiano Carranza, Miguel Hidalgo, and Francisco I. Madero. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? 200,000 of these coins were made, but only 100,000 were ever released to the public. The remaining 100,000 were melted down and used in the production of another commemorative Mexican coin. What was that coin? If you think you know the answer, let me know in the comments and I'll reveal the answer tomorrow. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do you have any Mexican silver in your collection? If so, tell me about it in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.